I'm Texas. We're at Computex 2025, where we're about to go and talk to the Edge AI Foundation. They're a community for design engineers and companies alike to talk about new ideas in the Edge AI space and to educate. Let's go ahead and talk to Pete and find out what this is all about. Pete, thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Good to see you, Elliot. So let's start basic. What is Edge AI? Yeah, so you know, we like to say Edge AI is like AI in the real world. Okay. So it's AI that's running on things. It's in cars, it's in cameras, it's in water sensors, it's in agriculture, it's in healthcare. So it's AI that's not in the multi-tenant nuclear powered data center, yes. but it's actually in the real world doing real things. Right, so we're getting all the advantages of these big data centers that are running our prompts, but on microcontrollers, on low power devices. Yeah, microcontrollers, MPUs, I mean, could be kind of heavier edge as well, yep. you know, so the edge could be could be rack mounted as mm -hmm. well, but it's, it's you know, you're running AI where the data is created as opposed to nice. shipping the data to a data center and running something mm -hmm. on over there. So, so you get it lower latency, typically lower cost, you know, lower power more privacy, so a lot of benefits. Yeah. So a lot of us engineers haven't actually put any Edge AI chips or any NPUs into our designs. Hmm. Why should an engineer care about Edge AI? And what sort of yeah. advantages do you think that, you know, putting a new sort of technology into their next design might give them? Yeah, so I mean, it does have to be driven by the use case, right? So we are seeing a lot of really interesting things around putting AI in sensors, mm -hmm. right? So you're using AI in sensors to do smarter things with the data that's being created. So you're basically, basically you can do some processing on the device and then use the communication channel for more metadata. Right. As opposed to, I mean, classic case would be like a, a pedestrian safety camera, right? You would want to actually process what's happening in the camera. You're not going to stream video mm -hmm. back to some server somewhere and process it, right? So wherever you want to have like more real time, low latency processing, that's a good time to think about, can I put an AI workload? And that could be as small as like a 10 kilobyte model. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you're not putting a large language model in there, but you can put some code in there to do some, you know, machine learning or AI logic right at the source. Amazing. Yeah. So a lot of areas of technology don't have their own foundation, mm. and particularly ones that aren't as new as the Edge AI movement. Yeah. Why does Edge AI need a foundation, and what yeah. is it bringing to the table? Uh, it's a good question. I mean, part of it is because it is new. Mm -hmm. You know, and it is a collaborative space. You know, when you think about deploying a solution for Chevron, for example. A lot of companies have to work together to solve that problem, right? It's not one company that comes in and solves it. It's not one chip, it's not one device. And so by definition, it's a collaborative space. And so the foundation basically brings together big and small tech companies, mm -hmm. solution providers, uh, software, hardware, device builders together in a community to collaborate to basically go faster with Edge AI, so help the business. And then we do a lot of education. So we educate about AI, we educate and try to get people literate about Edge AI, okay. improve their skills, you know, so they can do their jobs better. Great. So Edge AI is quite a new concept as a whole in the matter of years. What companies have you involved in this yeah. over the time of Edge AI Foundation and when were you founded? Yeah, I mean, uh, so it was originally founded as the Tiny ML Foundation back in 2018. Right. And things have evolved quite a bit since then. And we actually rebranded as the Edge AI Foundation last year because the conversations were expanding to include, you know, CNNs and RNNs as well as language models and mm -hmm. things beyond, you know, microcontrollers. Uh, but, you know, we have representation really from the full stack from metal to cloud in that community. We have, you know, companies doing silicon IP licensing, you know, ARM and SIVA and folks like that and RISC-V. Yep. We have semiconductor partners. We have Qualcomm, ST Micro, yep. Femtosense over here, yep. Intel as well. We have Wind River. We have, uh, you know, companies like Edge Impulse doing middleware. Yep. Uh, yep. And then application providers, model providers. So that whole stack is represented in the community. Yeah, these are all names that we've talked to before. Yeah. And, and a lot of startups well. that you probably haven't heard of yet. So yeah, it's totally. pretty cool. Amazing. So we're talking about community. How can people join this community? Say, yeah. is there something in for me for the, for the singular person? There's something for the companies? Yeah, How yeah, yeah. Get a part of this? So certainly we love to grow the community with partners. So if you're in, if you're working at a company that's in the edge AI space or wants to be part of that space, you should join the community and you come to our website and get information on that. We're a nonprofit, so we're wholly subsidized by our partners. Yep. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you want to learn, you can go to our Discord server. Cool. Thousands yeah. of people on there talking about what they're building. We've got a YouTube channel where we do live streams every other week. Yep. So you can participate in those. Uh, we have events. Uh, you know, we're going to be in Milan July 2nd through the 4th for three days. We have like eight workshops going on. We have okay. like 45 speakers. 
We're going to be he, uh, here in Taipei in November. So we show up around the world at these hands-on events, and then we do a lot of stuff on YouTube and Discord. Great. Awesome. IPix, we'll have links to everything that we mentioned down below. Thank you very much for joining awesome. us today. Cool. Take care. Cheers.